So welcome to this uh, Fearless Fundamentals video, Sunday video, and uh, this week I've got Molly, and uh, we just finished a week long, a week long program with uh, the men, you know, doing their week long intensive training, and Molly decided to come over and do a video with me. Mm -hmm. And I did a couple of videos last week talking about embodiment and eye contact, and I did another one that was about embodiment and touch and the power of touch. And this week I wanna talk about voice, you know, and embodiment and voice a little bit. And Molly has a lot of experience with embodiment and dance. Mm -hmm. And so um, that's really awesome. We'd love to have her in a workshop for that reason because she had so much feeling in her body already and she could really connect with, communicate with the guys and help them get huge changes this week. They did, they did fantastic. Did you enjoy the workshop? Very much, yeah. Awesome. I think it helped a lot with my embodiment as well. Seeing people embody in different ways nice. helped with mine for sure. You know, you know, the unique thing that I like to do the way I, mm -hmm. I realized one day was, because my teacher, we did a lot of embodiment. Uh -huh. But the way, I, what I do is I focus on embodiment in relationship to the other. Mm. So my idea is how embodied am I while connecting with you, feeling mm -hmm. you, and, and how does it translate mm -hmm. between us? versus just me over here doing movements by myself mm. embodying, which are also very powerful mm -hmm. too. Because mm -hmm. you kind of got to feel your own body before you can feel somebody else. Right, right. Yeah. But you have to feel the person who's next to you or yeah. behind you or, yeah, yeah. you have yeah. to. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And this is another good point, and we're kind of jumping topics here, but we're gonna do this really quick, mm -hmm. is if I leave my body to feel you, then I can't feel you. Mm -hmm. So if I'm reaching in and I'm like, hi, how you doing? I'm reaching over to you. Mm -hmm. That's the eye contact part or my voice. Mm -hmm. Hey, how you doing? Mm -hmm. What's your name? And I'm pushing at you. I won't be able to feel her. And that's a really important point in voice. I have to feel my voice through my body, mm -hmm. enjoy my own voice. And then when I say hi, I don't have to push it on her. Mm -hmm. I don't have to be like, hey, how you doing? I can relax into myself and be like, hey, how you doing? And there's a there's more emotion that comes through in that. Would you agree? Absolutely. And I feel like you're not talking at me. You're yeah. talking to like yeah, yeah, to yeah. me from you. Do you run into a lot of men that talk at you? For you sure. Mean? I think also like loud places as well, where someone will come up very close, uh -huh. and it doesn't matter who they're coming up to. You know, it's just like ah, and the, like it, you immediately the first thing you, you want to do back. is just yeah. It's, yeah. And even if I think that they're attractive or interesting or something, it's like a, well, they don't really want to talk to me. Yeah. They just want to talk. They want to talk but, or yeah. they want to get you. To talk to them. Or yeah. I guess the way I'm saying it is they want to get you, but they don't want to get to know you. Right. They like they're what they see. Out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. This is another important piece. Women do want men that aren't afraid of sex, sexuality, aren't in touch with their animal. They'd like you to be in touch with that and and appreciate them, their bodies, their beauty. So that's not a bad thing. It's when you also don't see their humanity. All you see is that. Mm -hmm. That's the problem. So mm -hmm. would you agree with that? For sure. And it's like like it's either up here or it's down there and yeah. there, if there's nothing else there, it's really uncomfortable either way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. When they're yeah. all up here, so I coming up here and Yeah. Hey, how you doing? My name's Brian. What's yours? That's that's <laughs> okay. more heavy. Yeah. yeah. Just a business deal. Okay, uh, we're doing a business deal. Yeah. People are coming down, shutting all this off, going mm -hmm. back and being, hey, what's up? And starting to lead with their, their hips mm -hmm. and their crotch and mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff. That gets a little weird too. Mm -hmm. Now let's talk a little bit more about the voice, because that's what this video is about. Mm -hmm. What do you find sexy in a man's voice? What do you when you meet it when you see a man, feel a man around a man, what's what's what is it that feels good? What is the most attractive to me, and I realize that is the lower voice, where you kind of have to come to them, being sure of what they're saying, but not like presenting it. Okay, to so you. lower voice, being sure. Mm hmm. But yeah, I think that those. What are about like vocal speed? Slower, slower I think. Yeah. If a guy, because I talk very fast, and I also mumble a lot, so. If that starts to get mirrored, then like it'll just be gibberish. <laughs> uh, but I also I do really like when I do mumble a lot and have like some speech that like confuses people when they're like, "I'm sorry, I didn't hear what you said. Can you say oh, that again?" Like instead of being like, 
brushing over it. Like, oh, they're listening. They, uh, they're they listening so much, they didn't hear me. So, but so that's, yeah, so you, you, you're so a guy is like, yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. Right. Yeah, okay. It, then it doesn't matter what their voice sounds like. <laughs> yeah. So they're not, it comes back to listening at that point. For sure. Um, so if I was to, as a man, mm-hmm. we speed down, we slow down. Mm-hmm. And we we drop our voice, re- relax into our voice, use pauses, mm-hmm. um, create a little bit of tension. Mm-hmm. So that comes back to the eye contact a little bit, guys. So there's a sense that I could be out here. I can literally, it's not just eye contact, it's voice. So this is a harder thing to teach. But I could be talking like this. Hey, what's up? How you doing? And that's very different than talking at her or to her. Mm-hmm. Not at her, but... I'm feeling my own body and I'm like, hey, what's up? Now I'm sending my voice directly to her. It has intent, would you agree? Mm-hmm. So that's that decisive quality. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I think uh, uh, part of what you were saying earlier, you used a different word, but they, they're sure of themselves. Is that what you said? Or, yeah, and sure of what they're saying. So unsure might be uptones, like, hey, uh, my name's Brian, how are you? Um, mm-hmm. So what are you doing today? Mm-hmm. And there's a sense of, uh, there's an up energy at the end of my sentence mm-hmm. and there's doubt in that right mm-hmm. for so, sure so um you want to hang out sometime mm-hmm. doubt <laughs> right and that doubt transfers yeah and that's very different than a downtown with pauses it's relaxed and open in the heart open in the stomach well and that uh, it also makes me feel slower and calmer and yeah. like well, because the feminine on. tends to rise up yeah, and the masculine sure. pulls down, and we, we, yeah. and we and we balance each other. Yeah. yeah. And so, if you're trying to match the hyper, or not hyper, but fast talking upper energy of a woman that's going mm. up, hey, how you doing? Mm. What's up? Then that's one of the reasons they might not get attracted to you. Mm-hmm. For and, sure. Uh, so if I'm like, hey, Linda, what did I do it before? Let's go play it back to back. Hey, you know, um, hey, we should hang out sometime. Yeah. That's that uptick. Yeah. Um, and sometimes fast. Hey, you know, we should hang out sometime. Hey, what are you doing this weekend? Mm-hmm. There's that rushing energy. Mm-hmm. And if I slow that down, I'm feeling my heels. I'm feeling the back of my legs. I'm opening in the stomach, opening the chest, feeling my back. I'm relaxing into my frame. This is the best way to put it, guys. And I'm like, hey, we should hang out sometime. There's a different feeling in that. Isn't Absolutely. There? I think one, I'd be like, yeah, it's friends. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that there would be, if I was interested in, but yeah. this is like, like, yeah, I want to do it now. Yeah. Like, hang out now. It's, yeah. Or it's the difference between saying, oh, you know, I want to get to know you, mm-hmm. which is really questioning, or, mm-hmm. or the more penetrating grounding, mm-hmm. uh, same thing with the voice. And it's like, hey, I want to get to know you. There is something about you Mm -hmm. that's very interesting. Mm -hmm. And you'll notice I dropped my tone a bit. And I dropped it because I was get because we're close and Mm -hmm. we're getting in there's an intimate quality. And if I'm loyal to the feeling between us, I have to adjust not just my eye contact, but my vocal tone Mm -hmm. and my touch to the moment. If I start to lean into the tension, Mm -hmm. then I'm going to probably drop. And I'm going to be speak a little bit more intimate. Mm-hmm. I'm still going to keep the depth. I'm still going to keep the, you know, I like you. There's something about mm-hmm. you. I'm going to keep that down tone. And uh, I'm going to play with that. Hopefully you guys are seeing that. that. It feels nice because it's also like, oh, he wants, he's talking to me. He mm-hmm. wants to talk to me. He wants to hear me. Like it, like if it, if there's a lot going on, it will help to like, Pay attention more, so. and, and it helps to create that bubble. Exactly, between you. exactly. Like when you're in a crowded bar or on a date or at a restaurant, and you two go into that bubble mm-hmm. where it feels like you're in your own space together. Mm-hmm. You guys can create that. Okay, that's what part of. I have some exercises for that in this book. Okay, the art of fearless seduction. So make sure to check the book out. There's a link in the video. Enough commercial. <laughs> so that same rule. Uh, intimacy mm-hmm. applies to voice eye contact when you put these three videos together I did you'll start to realize that even eye contact if I come in I have to relax the tension more and more the closer I get because if I mm-hmm. don't if I keep the tension the same like if the tension I've got here and I keep it the same <laughs> it creates pressure uh-huh. right? touch if, if I'm touching here and it's nice 
but the moment changes and the energy starts to rise, the touch is, the touch quality might change. As we mm-hmm. get more intense, mm-hmm. there's a there's an intense quality. But you got to have the right timing on all of that. Mm-hmm. Same with a uh, voice tone. A voice tone is just as simple. Hi, hey, what's up? You know, or I, I'm curious about you. I want to get to know you. I, you know, or whatever I'm saying. It doesn't mm-hmm. really matter at that point. It could be Mary had a little lamb. Mm-hmm. If you're if you're doing it well, you just play with the words, mm-hmm. and that's that's how voice, in my opinion, works. Do you, is there anything else you can think of? I think like playing with tone without like moving it in your body. You know, if, if someone's talking to me like this, like monotone, and, right? Even if they're feeling it and they're making the right eye contact, if they talk like this, I really don't know. So why numbing out? Hi, you're interesting. I'd, right. I'd love to get to know you better. Right. There's a, like all the fluctuating that's happening in the body, like you can put also in the voice. I feel like that's like like if you are saying something that's more passionate, then sound more passionate. <laughs> you know, like to add those things, like let her also get to know you from from your voice. So this is another really important quality. We talk about this in the workshops is that your front of your body is like a, the, actually the whole body here is a musical instrument. And when I speak, depending on the part I'm speaking, resonating from, it's mm-hmm. going to have a different effect. Mm-hmm. So she's talking about this up down effect. I didn't tell her to say this ahead of time. <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> but this is what we do. Yeah. And everybody does it. Great singers do this naturally. So as we're talking, if I walk up, I'm walking through a crowd of people and I just want to be, if I don't want anybody to notice me, like I'll just numb out, I'll mm-hmm. shut everything off, right? But if I want to connect with people and strangers just walk in, I might just open my mm-hmm. heart and let my heart fill the room and be like, hey, how you doing? Nice to meet you. Mm-hmm. Oh my God, you look great today. Mm-hmm. And there's an upper energy to that. This beautiful, friendly upper energy invites mm-hmm. people in. It brings a natural smile to your face, that type of stuff. So. The other one that happens uh, is you start coming from the stomach. This is a different energy. And now I'm like, hey, how you doing? Nice to meet you. And the quality changes. It it Mm -hmm. has the heart, but it's a little more focused. Mm -hmm. Okay, That's typically what girls, women will want to start dating you. Because women don't, they they meet the guy with the big heart. They want to hang out with him, but they don't want to date him. Mm -hmm. It's not that they don't want to date a guy with a heart. They want to date a guy with a heart and some grounding. Mm -hmm. So the stomach... As I drop into the stomach, there's more grounding. Hey, what's up? Mm. The next is you can drop down even lower. That's the turn on energy. You know, you can drop it down here and you can be, hey, what's up? How you doing? And mm. it has more intent to it. Mm-hmm. There's a feeling of, I want to get to know you. Mm-hmm. And there's a pull. There can be a pull on it. There can be a push mm-hmm. on it. All this play. So a lot of places you can come from in your body and a lot of different feelings you can come from. And she was bringing that up. And I think yeah. that's really important. I feel like even if I wasn't seeing you, like if I heard those three on the phone, I would know. Like I would have the same feeling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. You, you can actually. <laughs> you yeah. very much can. Yeah, yeah. It's, um, it's important for sure. And so c- communication from the body becomes a dance, right? And I want you guys to get this. If you put all, th- watch all three videos again and get this idea that we're putting it all together. Even mm-hmm. right now, I'm not just using voice when I'm talking to her. There's mm-hmm. eye contact going on and I'm playing with it. We're modulating and I'm looking at w- what do we need to connect. There's touch going on. There mm-hmm. was some touch going on. Um, there wasn't now, but if I was touching, there's the same thing. There's a nice sensual energy in the touch. Mm-hmm. And as the voice kicks up, there's this sense of, even with the touch, I can time the voice a bit with the touch. Mm. And I can be curious in the touch. And so there's almost like a word being said in the touch right there. As mm-hmm. I stop and I play with the pause, because the pause is real important. Mm-hmm. And then that touch right there. Mm-hmm. And uh, and it's and it creates a um, bit of a charge for sure. And it feels like the possibilities are endless. Like yeah. now we can hang out, we can talk, we can do whatever for and just for, play. Exactly, it's all about play. Yeah. I, I have no desire to yeah. to step away. <laughs> yeah, and neither yeah. do I. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and by the way, touch isn't just about dire- uh, eye contact. Isn't just about direct eye contact. I might want to decrease the eye contact so I can increase mm-hmm. another sense, right? Mm. So as we're talking, I might look over here 
this will increase the feeling of touch mm. or my voice I'll even be able to hear my own voice a little better mm -hmm. and say things I might want to whisper to her mm. and lean in a little bit and come in a little closer I might want to come in with touch a little bit more mm -hmm. and so what I'll do is I'll use my peripheral to pick her up because it allows the other senses or more heart more stomach to kick up mm -hmm. and then you want to play with polarity this idea that if it's working back away right. a little bit take a moment to enjoy each other again mm -hmm. there's no rush for anything mm. a lot of you guys are in a rush it's a dance for her and it's a dance for you mm. enjoy that dance between yeah. all these energies well and that's how you get to know yeah. what you're attracted to too exactly yeah, yeah you yeah. gotta give it time for sure yeah it's very true yeah um so i'm trying to think is there anything else around a uh, voice that we want to cover i okay. i can't think of anything awesome. i think it's good <laughs> cool yeah. Nice. And just remember the modulation up and down. Yeah. So. so I want to thank you guys for being here. This was an awesome video. I enjoyed doing it for you. And look at all three again and kind of go through it. And we'll definitely have Molly back on another video if she wants to be back. Absolutely. Uh, since she does a lot of embodiment herself, I'd definitely love to. Uh, maybe maybe someday she'll be doing something with that with us. Who knows? We'll see. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I want to thank you for being on the uh, video. Remember to like, remember to subscribe, remember to hit the bell notification, remember to share. We definitely want to see your comments because we definitely respond to all those comments. We go through them all the time. And with that said, remember, only the confident really live. See you in the next video.